everyone. This is another episode of the NAR-V. I'm Ashley. And I'm Mason. Today we're doing a tour of our new travel trailer that we've been in for about two weeks now. It's the Rockwood Signature 8337RL. We really love this layout. We got it because of the kitchen islands and all of the storage. Loads of storage and we also did a lot of customization that you'll see. Yeah. So we hope you enjoy the tour. The ultimate couples trailer and the ultimate outdoors trailer. Enjoy. to our kitchen. I'm going to go through some of these cabinets right here. As you can see, we have tons of storage for literally everything. Spices, appliances, coffee cups, regular cups, blender, protein powder, liquor, pretty much everything you can imagine. Um, on this side right here, we have a really big piece of counter space. We have the coffee bar and even more storage, trash can down there, um, silverware, and uh, junk drawer. You gotta have your junk drawer wherever you live. So plenty of cooking space, cutting space, everything right here. Um, obviously you can see right here, the focal point of the kitchen, the reason we chose this kitchen really is because of this island. We really loved it. You have a dual sink, you have this retractable nozzle on the sink, so it's really easy to clean dishes, everything like that, and then again, more cutting space, more cooking space, and you can even access it from the other side, which is really nice if you have multiple people in here. Um, again, below the island, all of our pots and pans are stored. Plenty of storage. Okay, and if you come over this way, you can see, again, we have all of our plates and stuff right up here, tons of storage. You have your microwave, more counter space right here and drawers for everything else you could possibly imagine down there. All right, so your oven right here, you have three burners, which is super great if you're cooking a lot of different things. This folds up, so again, you have more counter space if you need it. You can have that down or you can obviously cook up here. And then below here is your nice oven. And then even more storage space below the oven. So then, before we go into the fridge, we'll go right here. Um, more goods, more storage space, everything you could possibly shove in there. You really can. We have a huge, like, 20-pound bag of rice down there. Uh, tons of space. So more space than we could ever need. All right. So the fridge. You got to show the fridge. Who doesn't have you know some local beers? We're in uh, Salt Lake area right now, so we have Shades Brewing beer in here, and then of course we have some Korean pork bulgogi, spicy pork bulgogi marinating because who doesn't have that? And some kimchi and you know all that stuff, and then your freezer up here with some frozen fruit, bacon, all that stuff. So plenty of room up here. It's really great, really great lighting in here. You have your vent fan as well. Everything you possibly need. And welcome to the dining room. So in the dining room, we have started some customization. You'll notice there are the two chairs here, but the other two chairs are in our office. We have put the dog kennel here, which fits absolutely perfect with, of course, all the dog toys above it. And this table is extremely convenient because if you don't want it taking up all the room, it actually just slides right in and it's nice and small if you want it that way. However, we're big eaters, so we like it out. <laughs> and you'll notice with all of these windows here, we have the screen down right now because it's really sunny outside, but that does go up. And if you wanted your privacy, especially at night once the sun goes down and your lights are on, you can go ahead and pull these down for the blackout feature. The light here is actually a push light, so you can have plenty of lighting while eating. If we want to move on to our lounging area, we have the theater seating. 
where you just pull the lever on the side there, you're able to fully recline. They both do that. Um, one of our favorite things is actually the storage that comes with this theater seating. On the sides here, we're able to put in a few office supplies. They both flip up. Plenty of storage. We have our remotes in here so our little puppy doesn't chew on all the buttons. And this one, we didn't find out until about a week after we moved in. But behind the couches here, there's actually a ton of storage for extra blankets, pillows, or in our case, promotional hats. <laughs> This was a fun customization that we did. So the trailer originally came with a love seat here that had a bed that pulled out. However, it's in our storage unit in California and we decided to put our standing desk here where we have a view of whatever location we will be in. What's excellent about this for something like a desk is that there are outlets and USB ports on both sides and the storage up here is exceptional. There's plenty of room for our cleaning supplies, all of our electronics and all of our paperwork. There isn't anything that separates those cabinets so it is a full length storage unit. Moving into the entertainment system, the fireplace here is exceptional. You're able to adjust the settings here where you can be projecting lots of heat or you can tone it down to where it's just lights and for looks. You can also change different colors if you want. That one's kind of fun, I think. And <laughs> Here is the Bluetooth system that we have not used yet, but the speakers do go to the outside as well as inside. We have the sound bar here and the Hisense Smart TV, which we bought the coax cable and we're able to watch cable because the parks that we have been in so far have something for us to plug in and we're good to go again. Loads of storage, no shortage of it here. All right, welcome to the bedroom here. As you can see, we have the king bed, which is super comfortable. You have great access on both sides of the bed. So you have to get up in the middle of the night, go to the bathroom, it's super easy. You're not gonna inconvenience the other person. We'll kind of walk over to the lighting over here, which is really nice. You have a light panel here, which you can control on the headboard area. And you also have these blue lights, which are really great because if you want to read or something, you're not going to wake the other person. Um, also USB ports, outlets, everything you can imagine on both sides of the bed. And then up here, we have excellent storage on the top where we have extra sheets, blankets, pillows, everything like that goes up here. Again, plenty of storage. And if we kind of walk around this side, you'll see we have a ton of storage over here as well. This actually we're using as a coat rack right now, but it is a washer dryer prep hookup. So if you want to put it all in one unit in here, it'd be super easy to do. Again, more coat storage right here. And you'll kind of notice that uh, the dresser is kind of located below here. That's because when the slide comes in, it actually goes underneath this. So you have additional storage in here. You have tons of deep space for clothes. You have a little container right here. And then along this entire wall right here, you have obviously a really nice space. And again, more storage all the way across. And then you have this little space back here, which we have our vacuum cleaning supplies kind of tucked away. Really, they really take advantage of all the little nooks and crannies in this, and it's really great storage. And beautiful window right here, so if you have a nice view, you can check that out. Um, we do have one other piece of storage, which is right underneath the bed. So this bed has a lift in it, super easy. You just lift it up, and you have a ton of storage. Obviously, you can access your clothes if you needed to, but back here, this actually has access to the outside as well. 
and we have a ton of camping gear, kayaking gear, all the outdoor gear right here. That's the bedroom. here has the ultimate storage situation behind the mirror there's plenty of room for your daily items under the sink there's plenty of storage for other miscellaneous items and over here beside the toilet is actually the only storage we haven't completely filled it goes just as deep as the shower so there's all kinds of room there Headroom is sometimes a concern in travel trailer bathrooms, but not here. There's the sunlight there that gives you plenty of room, so tall people like Mason are able to fit in just fine. There's also the removable shower head here that we've used to wash bud, so it's super convenient. All right, so right when you come in the entryway here, you have your control panel. This is the brains of the operation. You can download an app if you want to control this all through your phone. However, this is really useful right here. So it shows your battery life, all of your tanks, if they're full, when you need to do a flush, all that sort of stuff. You're gonna control your slides from in here, turn on your tank heaters, your water pump, all that stuff. To the right, we have the thermostat. So that's going to control, obviously, the heat, the air conditioning. You can switch between electric heat, gas heat, and up here, if you wanted to, this is where you'd hook in if you wanted to wire for solar. So that option is also available. And down here is your Wi-Fi Ranger. This is really great because, as most people know, the Wi-Fi in parks is not great. And so this helps kind of boost your signal to that Wi-Fi. So brains of the operation, extremely great. We love it. up the inside of the RV so let's go ahead and head on outside. You'll notice here that we have both the options for the screen door and the main door so this will be an excellent option for the summer. We also have the really lightweight stairs. I could literally do it with just a finger extremely convenient and if you wanted to hold it open of course there is a latch here to keep it open for you this trailer also comes with two awnings one over the slide here where the other one goes over the main entryway You'll also notice there are the outdoor speakers that connect to the Bluetooth above the fireplace. And right by the entrance, we have the griddle. We never knew how much we were going to love a griddle because we hadn't really used one much, but we cook meats, vegetables, potatoes, everything you can think of. And it has very conveniently the quick connect right down there. So you can actually use your propane from the trailer. Another feature right beside it is the outdoor hose connect where we can also wash butt or maybe wash the dishes, but it hooks up to your water tanks as well. So right here, we have two 30-pound propane tanks. You also have your batteries and your smart jack. So when you're leveling, this is super easy and convenient. And uh, 
I'll take this off just so you can see. Right here, you can alternate between your two tanks. This will go red when this runs out, and then you'll switch it over to the other one. So, very easy system right here. All right, so if we're coming around this side, we have a little storage compartment here. This actually goes to the unit, or under the bed. So you have access to all the stuff under the bed. Plenty of room right there. Nice magnetic holder too, which is really great, super easy. If we come over here, we obviously have all the fun, fun stuff. You have your sewer line, you have your water hookups, you have your cable satellite hookups, and then you also have your outdoor shower. All right, it's also important to note this trailer does have a tire pressure monitoring system. So you have a little thing, your little unit you put in your car, really convenient, monitors these tire pressures as you're traveling down the highway or before you even leave, so you can make sure you're all good to go and safe. All right, right here we actually have the vent hood for the stove. So this comes out here, you can obviously open and close this, which is super convenient if you want to keep some of the air out or you know, open it to let your fumes out of your kitchen. So really nice. If we keep working around here, we'll see another really big storage unit. This opens up, it has a nice hydraulic lift right here. We have some backpacks and weights in here because this is what we do. Um, yeah, another great kind of part of this is just extra storage throughout the whole unit. All right, so on the back of the unit here, we actually have a hitch, which we have a bike rack installed in, which is really nice because we keep our bikes protected off the ground when we're traveling. And we also have this platform, which we could use instead of using the hitch. Super convenient. You put that down, it holds about 200 pounds. The hitch right here is weighted for about 300 pounds. Up here, you have a backup camera prep, the Furion backup camera prep. We don't have that installed right now, but you can use that if you want. You have a ladder access to the top of the unit. And then right here, you have a bumper which you can open and put your sewer line in if needed, right there. Right here, we actually have our power stabilizer jacks. These are automatic, you just put these up and down. It makes a huge difference with stabilizing the unit, so really like these a lot. And that wraps things up. We hope you enjoyed the tour. I know we really love showing you around. Yeah, we didn't have everything in the video. We didn't. There are four kayaks and a squirt boat underneath the trailer and of course the skis in the bed of the truck. So they all fit. Everything is here as you saw and heard numerous times throughout the video. Storage is plentiful. Yeah, so if you like this video, please subscribe. We're going to do more RV tours in the future and more videos like this in the future. Absolutely. All right, we'll see you around. See you guys later. Bye.